Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how we can implement JWT token authentication in our ASP.NET Core 7.0 Web API. In my previous session, I created how to implement using .NET Core 6.0. Also, if you go to my channel and you can find how to generate token in .NET Core 3.1 Web API in my videos. If you want that session, I will give the video on the I button and as well as the video description, please check it out. Guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification so that you will not miss my future videos. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Guys, please give me a like so that this video will promote it to other users or other viewers. What is authentication? Authentication technology provides access control for system by checking to see if a user credential match the credential in the database of authorized user or in the data authentication server. So, authentication is a technology or the flow which validates the user credential like the user ID and password or OTP. But in .NET Core Web API, how we can do? We can use JSON Web Token or JWT. JSON Web Token is a JSON object which is used to securely transfer information over the web between two parties like client and the server. It can be used for an authentication system and can also be used for information exchange. The token is mainly composed of header, payload and signature. These three parts are separated by dot in the token. The JSON Web Token or JWT is simplify a JSON payload containing particular claim. That key property of JWT is that order to confirm if they are valid only need to look into token itself. So let's see how we can generate, how we can implement the authorization or authentication in our web API. So for this, I am using Visual Studio 2022. I will create a .NET Core web API. Okay. So I will create a project. So I am creating .NET Core Web API. Click on Next. So I am keeping JWT Demo 7.0. 7.0. Next. Keeping .NET 7.0 standard term support. For now, I am no need of HTTPS. Click on Create. Guys, after completing this video session, I will keep this project in the Google Drive and the, give the link, Google Drive link in the video description. You can also download it. So, our application got created. First, we need to go to our tools, new get package, new get package, manage new get package for solution. Here, we can search for Microsoft ASP Net Core Authentication.jwt BRR. Here, I am going to install particular, remember this, 6.0.13. Click on install. Our NuGet package installs. Close this part pages. Save. Now, add a model folder in, in the application. So, I am adding a model folder in the application. Models. Inside adding a model which is called user model. And inside the user model, I have public string log ID. user message or else user token so if user is valid so it will go success and it will generate token 
if you just invalid it will go fail you know it will be null now come to our controller section here create a controller i am creating a controller add new controller web api web api controller here i am keeping let's say giving demo controller and for now i have no need of this route i will give my own route so I'm using unauthorized attribute. So this will be my allow anonymous and this will be my HTTP get. Right? Now public async task I action result. I'm keeping same name. hello world from get test unauthorized so i am keeping one more api like this get test authorized hello world from get test authorized it will return but in this attribute i will be writing it will be my authorized attribute let's run this api and see the difference between these two api and the attribute we have added allow anonymous and authorized So let's wait. It's first time it's running. So if we test this get test unauthorized and try to execute, so it is coming hello world from get test unauthorized. But but if we get test this authorized, which we have given authorized attribute, it is saying authentication was no authentication was specified. Right? So to do this, how we can go? We can go with stop the application running now i have to i will add one more api which will be a post api let's say check login okay and now i will be validating this one if here i will pass the user model You will return this like this. We need to do some configuration and it will be returning. So, if this success, then it will be user message equal to login success. Here it is login failed. Now, go to our program.cs file and offsetting.json file. We need to add our keys here. In appsetting.json, I have added my JWT key, issuer, audience, and subject. Next, go to program.cs. Before authorization, add app.use authentication. Right? And after the add swagger gen, I have to add my service, authentication service. You can see automatically it is coming. Right? Okay? So I have my added builder.service.authentication, authentication JWT BRR. And it is taking the audience from our JSON file, appsetting.json and the key. Right. Next, go to our controller section. Here I am adding like this. So 
Okay, it, it is asking me for the configuration. Okay, for configuration, I need to add this configuration i config. Right? Right. Now, see and check, make it to HTTP post and we see who will authorize this one. Let's see. So, how what I did, I added a claim, JWT claim, subject, JTI and IAT, added the user which is my login ID. Okay. Now, created the token and this token now I am adding to this string. Okay. Let's see it is running. Try it out. Let's say I am giving login ID something and password something and try to execute. What it is saying? Okay, I made this login as allow means check authorize. So I remove this, then I made it to allow anonymous. So generating the token API should be allow anonymous so that user can log in that one. If I'm executing, so still it is showing this one. Get cannot have body, right? So rerun this one. I was added HTTP get and, uh, and posting that body part. So that's how it was showing the error. What is showing login fail token is string. Now let's have giving I'm giving login equal to admin and password equal to password and execute. It is giving me a token, right? If you go to check unauthorize and try it out and click on execute it is giving hello world from unauthorized if you go to test or not authorize and try it out it is giving unauthorized b error so here we can add the b error but in postman in this swagger we cannot add we can add b error and we can authorize this api in this way we can generate our token using JWT token authentication with our ASP.NET Core Web API 7.0. Guys, I hope this video will help you and you will like this. Please give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.